guys, welcome back to my declutter series. Today's declutter is going to be liquid lipsticks. This is a category that I fully intend on getting rid of a lot of these simply because they are probably very expired and it's not something that you can really give to anybody um, or sell. It's just liquid lipsticks I feel like go bad so fast. So I fully intend on decluttering half if not more of these. Um, uh, so I think that's about it. If you guys like these kinds of declutter videos, I'm going to link my playlist down below. I have decluttered my entire makeup collection except for lip products. This is going to be the third installment of lip products. So far I've done MAC lipsticks and regular lipsticks. Now we're doing liquid lipsticks. So check out my playlist down below if you want to see any of those. Um, so yeah, the goal is to get rid of half of these. The rest are going to go in the trash can because I don't feel comfortable giving these to anybody. It's liquid lipsticks. You can't sanitize them. Um, and you can't really tell if they're bad or good or moldy or whatever. Um, also, side note, my dogs are in the room with me today and Lily is snoring up a storm over there. So if you hear little snores, that is Lily, my weenie dog. But yeah, let's hop into this. Let's get started. Let's do this thing. So, you'll also see some of these are in boxes. Um, I also have a couple more over here in boxes. The goal is to get things out of boxes. So that is another goal of today. But let's hop into it. I'm going to start with the ones that I know I'm going to get rid of. That will be the easiest route for me. So, getting rid of this Ciate one, I never wear it. So that one's going. These NYX ones, I don't love. They dry out my lips too much. So if I have any of those in here, I'm going to get rid of those. Um, What's this one? Melted Matte. I think this is in the color Child Star, I believe. It's one that I remember I really wanting to try, and I haven't tried it yet. So I think I'm going to keep it because of that reason. Um, You know what? Get a keep some gonna put up there okay um what's this one okay covergirl queen oh here's another nyx nyx getting rid of those um okay gosh some of these are still in boxes god it gives me like such a remorse and anxiety to look at some of this stuff that's still in boxes it's just Oh, yeah, yeah, my shopping habits. Okay, um, this, these declutters are really good because they just make you reevaluate, like, your life, pretty much. Um, these Rimmel ones I'm going to get rid of. I don't love the formula. I might have a couple of those in here that I'll find throughout this declutter that I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of right away. Um, ColourPop Ultra Matte. This one is, like, separating in the thing. It's in the color Clueless. You know, God, it's so pretty. I might keep this one. Well, okay, maybe, maybe pile. Um, God, I don't even know where to start. Okay, these these Kim K and Kylie ones. I actually will probably get rid of all of these except for, I think the color Kimmy. Yeah, Kimmy is the one I believe was like the only one that looked semi decent on me. The rest were just completely the wrong color. They're just very, very orangey, yellow toned. And that does not suit my skin tone very well. So there's Kim. I think this is the one I'm going to keep. Oh, no, these go in the giveaway. Keep goes up here. Um, okay. Perfect. Okay, so let's look at some of these CoverGirl ones. I do really like the formula. Is this Ballerina or Ballerini? Ballerina. Love Ballerina. Keeping that one. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this Queen one. It just has more of like a taupey undertone. Um, I think... Yeah, here's another... I think I'm going to get rid of the queen. I, I like the formula of... Oh, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. Um, I like the formula of the Melting Pout Matte better. So I'm going to keep that one. Ofra Charmed. Doesn't have a scent to it. Oh, so pretty. 
you know what, that's prettier than the ColourPop one. I'm gonna get rid of the ColourPop, put that in the maybe section. I have a couple of these Morphe. Um, I loved these when I first purchased them and I ended up just not really enjoying them so much afterwards. I did like this color though, Schoolgirl. But it's very similar to, which one was that, the Ofra? I'm gonna get rid of the Morphe and keep the Ofra. Anastasia, oh here's another Kimberly. Ugh, I can tell I'm not gonna like that one. Get rid of it. Um, okay, so these, Anastasia, I want to love. I try to love, and I just don't love. Oh, here's another one of the CoverGirl Melting Pout. Let me swatch this one really quick. Oof, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Okay. Um, Anastasia is so drying, you guys, and I want to love it so bad, and I keep buying them, like, trying to make myself love it, and, uh, I just don't. So, I think I'm gonna get rid of these. Allison, I remember I purchased at, like, a Gen Beauty. It's dark. It's really dark, actually. I might keep Dusty Rose, because... This is one that I, I do occasionally wear. It's just so drying. Put that in the maybe pile. I love the Kat Von D liquid lipstick formula. It's actually one of my ultimate favorites. So I only have the two though. You know, that probably makes sense. I'm gonna keep those. I also really enjoy the Makeup Forever formula. Oh, this is a lips gloss, isn't it? Yeah, that's a lip gloss. Put that in my lip gloss pile. Um, yeah, the Makeup Forever formula, I actually really, really, really enjoy. It's probably my favorite liquid lipstick formula. So, I thought I had one more of those. I know I have one more somewhere. Oh, here's another Ofra. I'm going to get rid of that little Ofra. Um, I could have sworn I had one more Makeup Forever in like a darker color. Where did she go? She might be in my lip gloss drawer. So, but either way, I'm going to keep both of these. I think though, because I'm keeping both of these, I probably need to swatch them next to others. This one is really taupey. Oh yeah, and this one's really purpley. I wish they would expand their shade range to have more neutrals, but that's okay. Um, okay. Let me wipe these off. You can see my arm is totally stained from the other lipstick videos I've swatched before this. <laughs> like, look at my hand. That's stained. So strange, huh? Okay. I love the Marc Jacobs formula. I only have the one, but I absolutely adore it. It is one of the most perfect liquid lipstick formulas ever. It's kind of like a moussey texture. So I'm going to keep that one. But because I'm keeping that one, I might not need to keep. So this is Lolita. Look at how similar those are. Lolita's more brown though. I might keep both of those. I might not need to keep this Ofra though. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the Ofra because it's nearly identical to the Marc Jacobs, so. Okay. Um, these Bare Minerals I actually also really enjoy. Um, they are definitely more, you what is on to this? They're more of a moussey texture, which tends to be what I end up enjoying a little bit more. So, I think I just have the two. Nope, here's another one. I do love these quite a bit, actually. So I have the color Juju. Beautiful color. 
Um, smooch. Oof, that's actually really light. I might get rid of smooch. And swag. Ooh, love swag. Okay. I'm actually going to get rid of smooch because that color I can tell is not going to be very flattering on me. I'm actually not very sure why I purchased that to begin with. Um, I have this Kylie and I have never worn it, you guys. I feel like I need to, to wear it before I get rid of it. It's in Candy K? Coco K. So I'm going to keep it simply because I've actually never worn it. Bought it, never wore it. Um, okay, this hourglass one I surprisingly don't wear very often. I say surprisingly because I love hourglass. I think this is a lip gloss though. Extreme sheen, yeah, it's a lip gloss. Let me throw that in my lip gloss drawer. These dose of colors I love, but they're very, very old. Um, actually, you know what? I got rid of the old ones. This is stone, right? Yeah. I'm going to keep stone. It's newer. I had some others that I, I guess I must have gotten rid of because they were too old. This one has like a purpley undertone to it though. <sighs> I tend to like lean towards these purple undertones. Yeah, look at those are super similar. I actually like stone better. I'm going to get rid of, oh, but I love the Makeup Forever formula. I'm gonna keep both of those, but if I have any more purpley, oh, here's the other Makeup Forever. I knew I had another one. This one is a darker, kind of maroon. Ooh, look at that prettiness. Okay. If I have any more purpley undertones, I need to get rid of them because I have too many and I just, I can't wear them all. Um, here's another Rummel. Gonna get rid of that one. Um, okay. So, speaking of purpley undertones, what is this? Ooh, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Ugh, I remember it being like too brown for my liking. So, that's a Stila. Um, this is by Lipland. It was the Amrezy collab. It's in the color Baked. I ended up not really liking this. It was super duper dry. I'm gonna get rid of it. Lily, Lily, Lillian. <laughs> um, I'm going to get rid of this too. It's the Too Faced Glossy Lip Paint. This is actually more of a gloss, but whatever. In the color Goals. Never wear it. Getting rid of it. Um, I did not like the color of this Flower Beauty. I feel like the formula was really pretty, but the color was very unflattering on my lips. So... Getting rid of that. Um, this is Too Faced Queen Bee. It has a purpley undertone and it is gone bad. It's separating. You can see it's like, I don't know, maybe you can't see, but that needs to go. Um, I could probably get rid of this Too Faced one also. Bend and Snap. It. I bought this at the same time as Queen Bee. It's very pretty though. Um, but it is very similar to some of the others that I'm keeping, so I'm going to get rid of that. These two faces I just purchased, so keeping them. These are part of the holiday collection for this year. Keeping those. Also going to keep my Melted Gingerbread and Gingerbread Girl because I, I really love the Too Faced Melted Formula, you guys. It's actually one of the best liquid lipstick formulas um, I know I've said that about a lot, but I do really like that. I do not like the ones in the tubes very much, so I might get rid of those. They actually get go bad very quickly, and they become very greasy, and they almost like leak like a greasy oil from the tubes, and it gets everywhere. So this one's really pretty, and it's not that old. It is the Melted Peppermint, or Peppermint Mocha, or something like that. Candy Cane, whatever. <laughs> I was kind of close. So keeping that, I do love these. So these are newer to me. I got them in PR. They are the Melted Metallic by Too Faced. And then this one is like a lip topper. You know, I might pass on the lip topper. I've never used it, so I might... Um, I'm gonna give it to somebody because I did swatch it on my arm, so I cannot give it to one of you guys. 
but I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to give that to a friend. Um, Melted Culver does have a purple undertone. Dang it. You know what, though? This is brand new. I'm not going to get rid of it. It's brand new, but you can see. Oh, my God. It is literally the same exact color as that. What was that one? Was that the Makeup Forever? I think it was. Yeah, it is. God, they're like exactly the same color. It literally exactly the same. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the Makeup Forever one because those are extreme dupes. Um, this little NARS I'm going to get rid of. I don't use little sample size things very frequently. Plus, it has a purpley undertone, so I got to stick to my guns on that. This Jouer I'm going to get rid of. I've never worn it. I got it at like Gen Beauty or something like that. It's just too dark for me. In fact, I can throw this in a giveaway because I've never once put it on my lips. So I'm going to throw that in my giveaway meaning giveaway to you guys pile. Um, these Tarte lip paints I do like. I'm probably going to keep both of these. So, ooh, actually, I don't like the color of that one. Bestie, you're going bye-bye, Bestie. But I like this one, Bounce. It has more of like a, yeah, that's really pretty. That's actually pretty for fall, too. So keeping that... Um, the more I look at it, I'm going to get rid of Dusty Rose by Anastasia. Um, keeping those two-faced ones, I have a lot of Jeffree Star. I really like the Jeffree Star formula. It reminds me a lot of the, um, which ones? It, it's kind of like in a league of its own, actually. Jeffree Star and Huda Beauty have very similar formulas. They're almost like a like a watery texture um mannequin I love it's surprisingly because it's kind of like I look at it and I'm like god I wouldn't like something like that but I love it Christmas cookie love um Gemini love <laughs> I love these a lot this one is rose matter yeah love. This one I bought and never wore, but I think it's because I forgot about it. Santa baby. Oh, beautiful. Okay. I'm keeping all the Jeffrey ones. I love them. I might get rid of the Huda, at least some of these. I know some of these have that purple undertone. Yeah, that one getting rid of. It's in the color Muse. I might keep this one. Trophy wife. Yeah, that one's more wearable for me. I'll keep Trophy Wife. Um, I'm probably going to get rid of this L'Oreal Candyman. It just has like a really taupey undertone. This whole line did. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. I did keep another one that was similar to that. It was the Makeup Forever. Yeah, here it is. This Makeup Forever is very similar. I don't need them both, so I'll get rid of the L'Oreal. Okay, battery died, so I had to swap it out. Um, these Lancome... I think I'm going I'm going to keep this one. This one's actually more of a gloss, but I'm going to keep that one. I like this color, so I'm going to keep this one. I think I'm going to get rid of these two. I tried to well, I definitely don't like this one. I tried to love this one. It's super similar to some of these others that I'm keeping though. So there's a candy cane. It's more of like a summer color though. <sighs> I might keep that one. Let's see. These MAC ones are brand new to me, so I would love to keep them because I need to try them out. I bought them and I just I have them in the box, which is always a bad thing, so I'm going to keep them because they are so new. These Jouer I love. I have Dulce de Leche and Lychee. Here's Lychee. God, but you know what? It has that purpley undertone to it. Um, Dulce de Leche. I actually think I'm going to get rid of Dulce, Dulce de Leche and keep Lychee. 
because this one has more of a taupe undertone to it. So, and then this YSL love a lot, keeping it for sure. I'm gonna get rid of the Lancome one. So, okay, that is all of my liquid lipsticks. It's a lot, I know. Um, so I'm keeping two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 39, you know what, as I was looking at these, I might get rid of this one. So we're at 38 for keeps now. Are there any others that I was on the fence about? No, not really. Okay, so I'm gonna keep all of these, so 38. And then getting rid of move all the boxes. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty. 32, 34, 36, 38, half and half actually. That was not planned, but that's perfect. So I said I wanted to get rid of more than half, but I think this is at least a good starting point. I mean, I'm kind of looking at my pile. Is there any that I was on the fence about? I feel like eventually I will probably end up decluttering some of these MAC ones, um, but they're just so new and I, I can't get rid of them yet. I haven't even worn them once. So I need to give those a fair shot. Um, I love these. I love all these Too Faced ones. I just, I really enjoy the formula on these, so. Yeah, I I don't want to force anything. Um, you know, actually, I'm going to get rid of the Huda. So that's 37. I'm keeping and 39 I'm getting rid of. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this one also. So 36 I'm keeping and 40 I'm getting rid of. I think that's good. That's a good spot. So I'm going to stop there. But if you guys like these kinds of videos, stick around because I'm going to film my lip glosses right after this and then lip liners after that. So stick around if you want to see those and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!